Hello everyone. Today I got a request from a friend of mine and uh, it is uh, it was very interesting. I have never done that and I thought I might show this to you all. And so his question was he got a delimited file. It could be comma separated, it could be a tab separated uh, and he got that file and then he wanted to load that into a table uh, and within one stream and then he wanted to use it for he didn't say what he wanted to use it for uh, i'm assuming he's just want to augment the data and then just use it for different purposes so his question was how can i load a delimited file into a relational table in one stream so that's what we're going to look at today uh, we are going to load a delimited file into a table in one stream table right here so that's a table that we are planning to load to pos table it got a column which is market it got a column which is product there is a unit and there is a price so we are going to create a file just going to say this is uh i don't know south carolina and i'm going to use uh you know what i'm going to use comma and uh, the product that we are going to sell is cola i am selling three units of cola at a price of i don't know one dollar and sixty cents i am going to sell a diet cola and i am going to sell i don't know five of them at one dollar and uh, ninety cents anyway you get the idea we're just gonna not going to do too much data so this is going to be um pos dot txt and uh, what we are going to then do is come to one stream I'm going to log into an application and we need the file within one stream. So what we are going to do is we are going to upload that into uh, the file share. So I'm going to use the file share and load it into, uh, not going to load, yeah, let's load it into everyone. So I'm going to load the file. I don't remember where I did. Okay, there we go. So loaded the file is already there and we loaded that file now in order to load this i'm just going to create a business rule which is an extensibility rule so that i can run it directly from here so i am just going to choose a rule so the funny thing about this one or the funny thing it's not funny uh thing about the business rule creation is let's say that you want to create an extensibility rule i find it easier to go pick a rule, select that one, and then click on new, it will automatically pick the type as extender. So if you want to do a dashboard X of BR string, I always go ahead and then click on that one and then just click rule, it will automatically pick up that type, which you are on. Okay, so otherwise you'll have to go ahead and then pick up a type of rule. So all you do is select a rule and just say new extender. So we're gonna say, load delimited to table okay let's say okay it is going to create our um, default uh, case statements and everything so i'm going to run this rule directly from here so i'm going to use the function type as unknown uh, you can create it as a function so this is kind of quick and dirty i am not going to write that as a function or anything so uh, the method that we are going to use is in BR API. So we are going to use BR API. There is a utility in utility property inside BR API. We're going to use that. And what we have in there is there is option where you could load the custom table using a delimited file and load custom table using Excel. Since ours is a delimited file, we're going to use that. So session info, we already have that. SI is our session info. 
we do need to specify the data origins. So we are gonna say source data origin types that is going to come from a file share because we uploaded the file to a file share. So that's what we are gonna pick. We said that is a file share. Now, what do we need the file share as? Now we need to give the file share path. So I am now going to break out from that rule and then going to define a file name in here, which is nothing but a string. We are going to again use BR API, go to utilities again. And in there, we do have an option to get the file share folder. So what we are gonna do is we are gonna get a file share folder, again, session info, the folder type. So we could say the file share folder types. I am using control and space to get the IntelliSense. So if you don't know that, that's a pretty easier option to do. And what we are gonna do is we are gonna say, I need the application incoming folder. And since it comes, so the application incoming folder is nothing but this guy over here, applications in there incoming. So it's gonna give me the incoming folder. I don't want the incoming folder. I need to go a step back into the everyone's folder and then grab that. So. Since this is gonna come with incoming, I am going to replace incoming from here with nothing. So I'm gonna say string dot empty. And I am going to now concatenate the oops slash every everyone here yeah. dot pos dot txt so that is our file name and we are going to use that file name in here so which was our next argument so we said file name now we need the bytes so for bytes you can do file dot read all bytes and just mention the file name there so that gives us the bytes now what we need is the delimiter we know that the delimiter was a comma so we did that we need a location Mine is an external table. Uh, I have configured the external table in here. So that is already configured with one stream. And all I have to do is mention that. Uh, it is named as external tables. That is the location. And uh, I need to give a name of the table. It's nothing but POS. I need to give a load method. So you can do two types of load. One is going to be a merge, another is going to be a replace. So merge is going to merge everything, replace is going to replace everything. Now, field tokens is, we're going to look at that one. Now, if you have a header, you can skip that. I don't have a header, so I'm going to say, I don't want to skip header. That's it. Now let's look at field. One thing that we missed was the field token. Field token is nothing but how you tell one stream to load the information. So obviously for the field token, you need to specify what columns are in there. So I'm going to create a list as new, if I know how to spell new, new list of string. That's the object that it needs. So we are gonna create that new variable. And all I'm gonna now do is add items to the field tokens dot add. Now this is where you need to know what exactly is going into it. So for one stream, if you look at the table, market is a column which is nvarkar that is nothing but text product is also text unit is something which is integer price is something which is a decimal so you need to tell one stream that is where these are going so there is a specific format that one stream uses to denote what the column and what the type is so that is what we are going to say we are going to say that is nothing but 
an XF type column and we are now going to mention the column name. So you don't need the square brackets until and unless if you have a space or anything in there, you can use square brackets. So it's easier to do it. Um, so market is one column. Our next column is nothing but product. Then we got two more, which is units. However, units is not a text. It is an integer. So XF has a type, which is nothing but XF int, which says it is an integer. Uh, now, price is a decimal. So the same way XF got something, which is DC. There are a few more, uh, which is XF bit, which is for a yes or no or a bit uh, column type. There is XF um, double, uh, it is DBL for the double. There is XF date, there is XF date time. These are the different uh, XF column data types that you can mention. Uh, I think I covered almost everything. Yeah. Okay, so those are the different uh, data types, X of data types that you have to specify. So we already specified that. Now we know that this has four columns. It is in there. Now everything is good. We just need to move in here and mention that as our field token. Let's save it and see whether it validates. And it Oh, we need a profile info. So that is going to be here. I forgot to mention that. So we don't need to mention anything there. So I'm just going to say that is nothing. So I'm just going to save it and good. So let's go and see whether there is any data in there. Okay, there is no data. Let's run our rule. Done. Let's see. There we go. We have data in, in that. Now, to look at the merge, I am going to say, this is going to be, it's pretty expensive nowadays, so it's gonna be 175. I said that is what is gonna be in there. All I have to do is go in and upload the file. I'm just gonna go in there and go to groups go to everyone and say upload the new file in there so the file is there close it and we are using merge if you run that now and go back to the table and pull the values there we go all the three rows are in there we said merge to the existing uh, values so now we got three columns of data or three rows of data in there now now let's look at what a replace is going to do. I guess you already know what it is going to do. However, we're just gonna look at that. So now we should only see one, one line of code, one line of data in there, which is one row, that's all. That's how a replace works. So easy peasy, all we did was loaded off delimited file, to a custom table in one string. I'll add the code in the description of the blog post and then you can use the same one.